So the question was how to make an oversized halftone camo pattern. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I have a camo pattern here and it's all in vector format. So I'm going to take that original camo pattern, select it, copy it, and then go into Photoshop. Let's make a new document. And with these bitmaps, I like to do super high resolution. So let's do a thousand pixels per inch and make sure this is RGB. We could also do it grayscale, but I usually just do it RGB. And let's do 12,000 pixels by 12,000 pixels. And that'll be, you know, 12 inches by 12 inches at a thousand pixels per inch. And let's paste in our vector camo pattern and we want to scale it up to the edges of this. So let's get it to go right up to the corner there and we'll hit return to apply. And the next thing we want to do is let's open our channels window channels. And this is just an easy way to get kind of the highest contrast grayscale version of this camo. So I think this red, version looks good. Let's go command A, command C, and let's go back into our RGB channel and go command V. Now we've got a grayscale version of this camo and let's also play with the levels because if we have to in this black, that's just going to be solid. We want some of that to show up as halftone dots. So we need to actually lighten that part of it. And maybe, you know, if we lighten the, the white too much, that would just be zero halftone dots. So let's kind of leave it a little bit gray. Let's go OK. And let's just flatten this image, layer, flatten image. And what we want to do now is apply a blur to it. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we can actually blur it quite a bit. So I'm going to go like 70 pixels. And then now what we want to do is go image mode grayscale, click discard, and then image mode bitmap. And we're going to do a halftone screen and we want kind of a low number for our frequency. So let's try seven lines per inch and we'll do a round dot. And I think that is actually even too big. So let's undo that. The other thing I noticed, I want that dark color to be actually a little darker. So let's darken the darks with the levels again. Let's darken the darks a little bit more. And then let's lighten the lights just to get a little more contrast in there. Click OK. And let's go image mode, bitmap. And then maybe even three lines per inch. Just really make this thing dot heavy. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So what we can do is we can save this to our desktop, call it camo and it's in bitmap color mode. So now when we go into illustrator, let's move this thing to the side. Let's place our camo pattern in there. File place desktop. We'll go to camo and yeah, that's looking pretty good. So let's assign that a color since it's a bitmap. We can assign it a green. And what I want to do here is I want to put a green box behind this and then let's go window color. And let me just make got a HSB. Let's make a darker version of that green. So there you go. That's how to make a halftone camo.